There is simply nothing like DCS. DCS is a sim game where you can jump into Warbirds all the way from the modern F-16 to a Spitfire from World War II. Though it does take some time to learn, it is one of the most unique gaming experiences you can get on PC. In today's episode, we're playing in a special event made for Enigma's Cold War server, where F-14 Tomcats and F-15 Eagles go against a swarm of MiGs and F-5s in a massive battle. Here, another F-14. Fox one. Oh, thousand hot. Flash. Nice, 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 nice. Blue must protect their bombers all the way to the target location about 100 miles southeast over the Caucasus mountain range, and Red must destroy those bombers before they get there. But inclement weather storms below. Freezing temperatures creep down from the Arctic to create massive vapor trails behind any plane daring to go high in the sky, making one of the most picturesque PvP battles you'll ever see in gaming. Enigma and I hit the igniters in our cold MiG-21s and warmed up our engines in preparation to intercept the Blue 4 bombers. I've spent months away from this bird though, so I'm a little rusty. So rusty that I decide to, uh, yeah, forget the switch that powers my electronics. But my HUD's not turning on. Is there a right switch that I'm missing? Like right panel switch somewhere? Yeah. I don't need it too much, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but you know, I didn't need him anyway. You're on the right or the center I'm on the right. And also okay. Copy that. Currently two objectives for red. Uh, defend the SA-5 site of Batumi, which is uh, lightly defended. Easy to get uh, for blue. And uh, kill the bombers uh, anywhere from the border to the target. So this, the first wave is always the most quiet one because um, blue's still like on the ground, like getting ready. So the first one's quiet. The second one's like the really busy one. They spawn every 30 minutes. Okay. Ooh, yeah, you were right, Enigma. This is a little bit aesthetic here. It's kind of pretty, no? Uh -huh. Kino, as the kids say these days. <laughs> How do you do, right, fellow thanks. kids? Okay, I've, I've got visual on you. I think I'll fly without a compass this first sortie. I'll try my best. Juicy, what's new with you? What's cracking? Not much. Uh, haven't been on DCS much. Kind of been wanting to come back to it. Uh, really excited for that F4. But uh, that's about it, not much else. I saw you were trying to get people back on Reporter. Yeah, it's it's not bad. It's it's not bad. Like the gameplay is there and the proof of concept is definitely there. It's it's like so improved over Arma 3 and so many things, but then it still lacks a lot of the feature set that makes Arma 3 so special. But it's it's coming along. I, I really am hopeful for Arma 4. I'm I'm pretty positive they'll be able to pull it off and make a pretty good product for four. God, I hope so. Okay, let's do a radar check. Your radar's working. Double check. Right, one one. Uh, Picture update for you. Close contact on scope. Three one three for thirty. Yes, radar is functional. Squid one three, you're uh, straying from the play area. You're 130 kilometers to the east. Targets are two seven one for <laughs> 150. He's out there. Copy that. His compass is off too. Okay, bombers are 80 kilometers away. 327. Gotcha. So they're gonna have F-14s and such, so we gotta be careful. Yeah, that's gonna be spooky. Yeah, but but for them it's scary too, because they're, they're about to run into a wall of 30 fighters. Mm. Wow, yeah, look to our right. Look at all the the marks, that's so cool. Alright, Enigma and Trusky. Got a uh, MiG-29 off here, 9 o'clock. Uh, 8 kilometers uh, above you. And then you have four aircraft off your three o'clock uh, from 13 to 20 off friendly. You can uh, dip in behind the MiG-29 or dip in behind the four MiG-21s to your uh, northeast. Okay. If you if you want some fodder to mm -hmm. you know give yourself a chance. Juicy, if you want, just race ahead of me and I'll follow you. 
You want me to go first? Yeah, sure, I'll cover you. Okay. I'm gonna climb co altitude with those bombers. Yeah, are you gonna pass my right side or left side? Uh, yeah, right yeah, side, right high, the, crossing in like five seconds. Well. I'm gonna go for that second to left group. Yep. Copy. Second from the left. Behind you. Roger. They're uh, lagging behind. Okay, I'm locked on to one of those bombers. Gosh, there's so many planes going down. Not getting tone. Hmm. I guess I'll have to turn with them. Yeah, I never got tone. Were you on radar or? Uh, yeah, I was. I'll just go to IR. Maybe my radar is borked too. Make sure to double check what you're shooting at. Uh, you got like 20 friendlies all looking at each other. Yeah, I can't seem to get a tone with Fox 1. No way. With a lock, yeah. That's alright. I'll go I'll go Fox 2. <laughs> this MiG 29's flying around is sick. They're just dancing around the bombers. Alright boys, two bombers left and uh, twelve planes trying to kill them, <laughs> so just uh watch your fire. Two bombers. Blue, Phoenix, okay, come on. Andre, I'm really Raven, uh, having a hard time catching up to him, even though I'm in full afterburner. This is crazy, though. There's so many people around me. Oh, he's going guns. That was cool. Oh my god. Left one just got splashed. Dude, he just, like, Kill disassembled. Splash <laughs> Chopper, 10 o'clock, 3000, F-14. Okay, F-14's here. Okay. I'm following you. Chopper, you're over the top of him now. You should be underneath you at 3000. Uh, Is that up. them? No, those are 21s. RWR is going wild. Alright, Red Horde. Looks like all bombers are destroyed. Proceed uh, northwest. 311 for 100. You're left turn, right? Yes, left turn. Yeah, okay, I got you. Alright, Tracy the Enigma. I got. One contact, 305 for 71 and 3000, hot F-14, to be just north of the border. 305, keep turning left, Trisky, I'll, uh, I'll tell you when to stop at 305. Copy. Oh yeah, they get Phoenixes too. Ooh, okay. From the F-15B, F-14Bs. And there's two uh, F-15s also, sprinkled <laughs> in there. They also, those guys have AIM-7Ms, I snuck those in. Mm. Um, and the Phoenixes are the A model, so they have to support them. Wait, you went with the Mongolian skin? I guess I did. Is that a bad thing? No. It's very. L11 flip flop engaging. <laughs> uh, we got F14 close. Three, 317, he just popped up. 317 okay. for 15 kilometers at 6k, so he's, he's up high. Got it. We're, Turning. Like, we're like at 9k. Turning right. Yeah, I see the contrails. Is he going southwest low? Did he just stop marking? I, I don't know. I can't tell which one's which. Oh, this has got to be him here. No, that's a two ship. Okay, high contact. 11 o'clock high coming in. That's I, I think that's enemy. You see him? Contrailing? Negative. Uh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Eyes, 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 eyes. Yep, yep. That's probably a baddie. Yep, Tomcat. Oh! He's Fox up. 1. Oh my god, he took it on the chin. Look at him. Come on, Fox 1. That was not a good shot, but let's see. Yes! Got him! Oh, you got him. Woo! Another one high up here. What is that? No, it's fish bed. Oh, look, look at the radar. It's all jammed up. Yeah. <laughs> There's F-15s here. 
Here, give me a flare real quick. Got yeah, one. You. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good. Is that you off to my right? Yeah, uh, yeah uh, you're back right. No, 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 no cool. one you're looking at is not me. Okay, okay. That's something else. I see another fish bed off to my... Uh, oh, no, that's not... That's a uh, Mirage. That, that, there's an enemy to our, to our right somewhere. Enigma is uh, close six, uh, okay. 400 meters below you. Okay. Oh, wait, there's an enemy I'm locked onto. That's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Someone's I see that. I see that. Single bar is enemy, correct? Yeah, single bar is enemy. Oh, I'm, I'm going being on this one. jammed. I don't see him. Oh, Did he just... Oh, he just crossed to my right. I think that's him. I think... Yep, Tomcat. Yep, I'm diving in on him. I don't have eyes on you anymore. Yeah, Enigma, no, I, I, Drewski, see him, I see him. Drewski's backing you up back left quarter. Oh, He's climbing there. above the mountain now, climbing cold. Oh, I see him, I see him. Right hand turn, right? Yep. Enigma, you got a he mountain just began peak, marking. Uh, 3200 in front of you. Yep. I'm just going to try radar guided. That's probably way too far. Yeah, way too far. Good God, they're fast. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's two of them. There's two of them. Oh, is that high one also? Yeah, they're both enemy. I'm going, I'm going for the high one. Yep. Andre, off your nose at 7,000. I'm going to watch the low yet. one. Good luck up there. Oh, please hit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there you. Oh, he Ooh. splashed him. Splashed him. Or someone did. Is that you passing him right now? Yep, I'm nose on Tomcat. Yeah, I'm with you. He is so fast. Gardo 1-1, 253 for 8 at 6,000 hot. In, I might be out of uh, fuel area. soon. Yeah, I know, I was about to say. Okay, that He's just fired. foxed. He foxed. Not on us. Yep. Yeah, I'm not catching up to him at all. No way. Oh, he just splashed friendly. I'm gonna get off at afterburner and just watch him. There's a lot of guys coming. Yeah, um, Enigma and Drewski, 308 for 18 at 9,000 hot F14, and he is fast. That F14 splashed. I see that F14 high marking. We got multiples. Missiles in the air. Missile, missile, missile. From high. Oh shit, the Phoenix. Just went right over the top. You left hander, 6,000. Yeah, I'm chasing after him. I think he's turning for Drewski. Uh, Drewski, I don't have eyes on you anymore, but I'm chasing the 14. Okay, I'm uh, chasing Dick, another. He's backing you up. He's on your six. Copy. Tomcat went high. He's climbing. Yeah, he's nose on now, Drewski. He's nose on 10,000. Enigma, he's westbound. 10,000 now diving. Oh, you see him. Hit him. Oh, I got him. Hmm, good shit. He's still up, though? We've got another Tomcat. There's so There's many. Flare. He's on your six. We, we're gonna have to bail soon. Who, who's flaring? Are you flaring right now? Yeah, I'm yeah, flaring. Drewski's okay, yeah, 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 that 14 Oh, yep. He, oh, I'm out of he, gas. That... I'm out of gas. <laughs> okay, he overshot. You're good. You're good. I'm out of gas. <laughs> oh, I was burning so much to avoid him. He's enjoying life. Okay. How do you like the uh, DLSS? Have you, have you tried it? Okay, I think that what we did actually kind of worked because you were just kind of doing your thing and I was just kind of swatting them away from you. <laughs> I was also like, where are my weapons? Half of them work. <laughs> Do my guns work? Yeah, they're still working. That was me the whole time. Now I'm, I'm pretty prepared now. All my stuff is functional because I am functional. Okay, so now, now the bombers actually have escorts this time. Um. Evil 1 1, just stay on track. 3 1 5 for 56. So happy my compass on. works now. <laughs> There's F 14 sprinkled in here somewhere. Okay. So yeah, I see them front. Uh, pop up. Uh, no We're getting nailed right now. Yep. 
Go one one maneuver. Don't worry, we can always dive out if we have to. Yeah, we're not gonna have visibility on their missiles if they do shoot. I'm gonna get above this cloud. They're There's not even just looking you at us. Spin it. You have no friendlies in front of you that are like worth a damn. Oh god, we're the tip of the spear. <laughs> yeah. And you got snake. You got snake coming in hot from your uh, last known three two three for twenty eight. Uh, Four thousand missiles in the air. Not at us. None of them are looking at us. Enigma Drewski, um, off your nose. There should be an F-14 doing a left-hander. Another F-14. Fox one. Oh, there's a shit ton of them. Hey, Drewski Enigma, I got Snake. He's uh, 327 for 11 at 6,000. Hot. Splash! Nice, off nice, your left. nice, nice. Hey, come left and grab that F-14. Whoop, F-14 just crossed me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm turning into him. He's, turn, he's turning for you, just just bring him, uh, yeah, just do what you need to do. Yep, yep, yep. He's off me now. I'm gonna go back in for bombers. F-15 behind you, Drewski, F-15 maneuver. Oh, I got hit. Yep, I see that F-15, I'm gonna go in the clouds. Oh, wait, he doesn't see me. Wait, does he? Nope, he does. <laughs> Instrument time. You're clear down to 1,500. Okay. Wait, meters? Yeah. He's, he's right on your six. 14's right on your six, too. Oh wow, he's still on me. Be careful, there's a mountain right in front of you. Uh, yep, he up. just shot Fox 2 at me. Pull up, pull up, Trusky. Got it. He's like half climbing on you, he's real close. I know, he's following me perfectly through these clouds. I guess he's got radar lock. Gosh, he's still on me. Oh, he just hit me. In the clouds, dude, he just has that HUD. Oh, damn. Well, I got one Tomcat. Good kill. You know what? We tied up their escorts. Now now the bombers are getting feasted on. So in today's episode, I uh, <laughs> I did not fly the best. I was definitely not a uh, good pilot this episode. I forgot power switches. I forgot weapon switches. Uh, I forgot that the F-14 has a HUD that can see through clouds. Uh, but even if you're a bad pilot in DCS sometimes, even if you're a smooth brain, you can still have a bunch of fun, which was uh, a big thanks to Enigma for inviting me and also Hustler21 for making the game mode. It was a lot of fun, definitely very cinematic, probably the most cinematic fight I've ever been in in DCS. And although I feel like I did not as good as I definitely could have done if I practiced some more, we still took out two F-14s this episode with the fish bed, which was not what I ever expected I'd be able to do. It was kind of just blind luck, I think, but still, the F-14 is a terrifying plane in this era. Uh, it is a much faster, much farther shooting aircraft, uh, especially if you get into the F-14 in this mode, so you'll just see, you'll see how powerful it really is. I fired a Fox 3 Phoenix at like 20 miles or something at a MiG-21 that probably didn't even know I was there. Uh, splashed him with that. He was still alive somehow after being hit by a phoenix. He continued to fly, fired a sparrow. Sparrow, I think, got notched. Uh, and then I fired a aim 9 from like, I don't even know, five miles, and it still reached him and killed him. Like, it was... It, it, <laughs> I was I was disgusted at the F-14 at that point. It was gross. <laughs> it was way too good. Flash. But I think when you have purposely unbalanced teams that don't have the same exact weaponry or gear, it's always going to be an unbalanced game. Somehow, in some way, there's going to be situations where one team is overpowered and there's going to be other situations where the other team is overpowered. And I think that that dynamic nature of the game mode creates a much more interesting experience than 4v4 team deathmatch with M4s. 
and it shows all the way from Arma 3 to DCS. I have just as much fun in something as asymmetric as this as I do in something like Arma 3 playing Spec Ops in the woods. And if you've never seen DCS on this channel, but you want to watch more, there's a ton more DCS videos if you just go to the main channel and check out my DCS playlist. I've got lots and lots of DCS videos of all different eras and aircraft there for you to check out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.